In this video, we will show you how to use the Agamatrix WaveSense Jazz Wireless Blood Glucose Meter. You will need the finger pricking device, also known as the lancing device, the needles or lancets, the blood glucose strips and the meter. Before taking a measurement, it's important to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with water and soap. Hold the lancing device firmly in one hand, ideally in the middle. Then twist the grey cap to the right to remove it. Take the needle, ensuring that the round disc part is upwards and place into the hole on the lancing device. Holding firmly onto the lancing device, twist the needle cover cap to the right to remove it. You will then see the needle exposed. Place the cap back on by lining up the grooves or raised areas on its side with the blue round button and twisting to the left. Adjust the needle depth using the white side slider. It is recommended to have it in the middle for the first check and then you can adjust it from there if needed. The round blue button fires the needle like so. To reload the spring and fire again, Hold the lancing device in the middle and pull back on the blue end until you hear a click. Now the needle is loaded and ready for you to take a measurement. You can take blood from any finger. Try to rotate and avoid overuse of the thumb and index finger. Also avoid the pads of your fingers because these contain the most nerve endings and can be the most painful. Ideally prick the finger slightly to the side. To take a measurement, place a glucose strip into your meter. Ensure the end of the strip with the two lines go into the meter and the meter turns on. Make sure you close the pot after each use. Place the lancing device against your finger and press the round blue button. To ensure you get enough blood, rub the finger from the base upwards. Place the end of the strip onto the blood. It will suck up a small amount and then display the blood glucose reading. Dispose of the strip into a bin. To change the needle, remove the cap. Then over a tissue, push the side slider forwards to remove the needle. This should then be disposed of in a sharps bin. If you don't have one, place in a hard plastic drink bottle. It is important to replace the needle in a lancing device once a day and to use a new blood glucose strip every time you take a blood glucose measurement.